All right, this last video is showing us, once again, the process of transcription, okay? Whenever we think transcription, this is what you need to think of. DNA to mRNA, okay? So this is the process of transcription. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is look at the fact that our DNA, our double helix, unzips. All right, so our DNA is now completely unzipped. We've got these open nitrogen bases, that one gene, all right? And then our mRNA is going to come in and it's going to pair up with those bases that are on the DNA. All right, so let me get my red back out again. All right, so if our DNA sequence, I'm gonna write it down here, was A, T, C, C, G, A. A, T, C, C, G, A. So let's write it down here. DNA, A, T, C, C, G, A. And notice that I did six letters because I wanna focus on figuring out what our codons are right off the bat. So remember that a codon is three, so three nitrogen bases. All right, A, T, C, C, G, A. All right, so if we're looking at what pairs up with this, I'm gonna use blue to represent our mRNA. All right, we're gonna go through and pair up these base pairs. All right, so we know that A and T normally fit together in DNA, but if you remember back to the video, it says that it does not bond with thymine. Therefore, we have to replace it with the letter U. So A would then pair up with U. The T up here is fine because it's on DNA, but our mRNA is going to pair up with what matches up with T. So T will still match up with A. C is gonna pair up with G. C once again pairing up with G, G pairing up with C, and then notice that there's an A again, all right? We can't have a T down on our mRNA and our blue, so it has to be a U. This is as simple as it gets. This is the process of transcription. So now we have two codons, UAG and GCU on our mRNA. That mRNA is then going to leave the nucleus and it's gonna take us to our next stage.